Hey everyone, Mr. Mo here. Welcome to session four, competition day. Now, today is the day you've all been working towards and the day hopefully you've been waiting for. Today you get to put everything that you've been learning into practice, right? And so everything you've learned about the science of flight, uh, drone technology, and then all the practicing you've been doing in the last two sessions are gonna come into play today. Now, the whole goal of this competition is to get through an obstacle course in the fastest amount of time, okay? Now, you don't have all day to do it. You have to do it within two minutes. So that means that if you don't get through it, your time will be two minutes. The other thing is that however many crashes you have, that will actually add three seconds to your time. So let's say you don't make it through and your time is two minutes, your clock time. Your final time, if you crash three times, will be two minutes and nine seconds. So every crash, you add a, a penalty of three seconds. And so your goal is to get through it as much as possible without crashing. But if you can't get through it without crashing, just make sure that you can get through it. So, so you ultimately, your goal is twofold. You wanna get through it as fast as you can with the least amount of crashes, okay? And so that will hopefully ensure that you have the best time by the end, okay? And so once everybody goes through and has their time and their crashes recorded, your coach will tally the time. They'll actually keep your time as well. They'll tally your time at the end, and then wh whoever has the lowest score, crashes and penalties uh, included as well, is gonna be our drone pilot champion, okay? So, if you have any questions, make sure you ask your coaches so they've been briefed on kind of what to expect today. I'm gonna show a quick clip of what the course should look like. It can be different because everybody's space is gonna be different, but for the most part, this is how your course should be laid out. So remember, the course is laid out almost like a horseshoe. It's the same video that we'll show again here shortly from last week where I showed you what the course should look like, give or take a few changes depending on your space. So the main thing to remember is don't panic, take your time, uh, try your best, and you'll do just fine. And so after you've raced and the coaches have tallied all the points and they've announced a winner, there's one more video I want you to watch is at the end. So until then, I'll see you. And good luck to all of you young drone pilots out there. Hopefully uh, you have some fun. So the goal of the course is to take off from a landing pad and you can use anything as long as it stays there and it's pretty much square. Is to take off, go through the first gate, come around this flag over here, back around through the second gate and then pass some predetermined finish line which for this course will be the edge of this table. And that's when time stops, okay? And so that's the course, okay? Now, depending on the space that you're in, you can make it bigger or smaller, but once it's set, that's the course for everybody to fly on, okay? And if you feel comfortable at your location to actually do a different course, be my guest. But this is something that we found to be challenging enough, but yet simple enough for most kids to get through. And remember, when you go through the course, it's okay to follow your drone as you go around. You don't have to stay here. You can move around with your drone. And in fact, you'll probably have to because you're probably gonna crash. And if you crash, just pick up your drone, turn it over wherever you're at. But make sure that you bring it back so that you can get through the next obstacle, okay? But once you get through this obstacle, and if you crash over here, you can set up right over here. You don't have to go all the way back to the beginning, okay? Just set up before the next obstacle, all right? And go through. 